Alrighty, so I just picked up this new rod. Um, as you can see by the title, it's this Eagle Claw Pack Rod. And had two or three trips fishing with it now, so I can get a few words on what I think of it. Um, for $20, it's I think it's a good value. Um, it's not worth more than $20, that's for sure. But if you just want something that's cheap, small, light, portable, then this is a great rod for that application. Um, the fact that it can just break down super small is really, really nice. Um, once you get it all broken down, it's just right here. It's just like super compact, really easy to put a backpack or some sort of bag or anything like that. Um, downsides to it, it's kind of a, it's not very sensitive, it's a very slow action, which means the whole rod will bend from throughout it rather than at the tip, which is usually more preferable, at least for my style of fishing. Um, another downside is the reel. This one is a Shakespeare contender. There. The one that came with this, it's, it's garbage. I would not recommend using it whatsoever. Um, I put it on, took a cast with them, like, nope, not gonna use it. So, never gonna use that again, but this reel is like $20. So you can spend a little bit more and get a nice setup. Um, if you're looking for a better packable rod, this is another one that I use. It's a, uh, it's like a Quantum Telecast that's what it's called it's a lot nicer rod and this one was maybe 35 40 dollars so i'm gonna spend a little bit more i definitely recommend this one um, this is a five foot six light this one is like a five foot six medium so they're same length this one's just nice much nicer quality uh better handle design more sensitive um yeah I would recommend this one over the Eagle Claw, but for just a basic hack rod, this one's definitely worth your time. Um, just been using it for trout, and so far that's been working great. The one thing that I do love about it is that I can fit it inside of this rod tube along with my um, one rod and then also my fly rod here. So I can fit all three of those rods to this one tube which is really nice for just traveling light and packing light compact so um, for this eagle claw pack rod good value not worth more than twenty dollars but if you get a better reel on it it's definitely um, a usable and nice packable rod hopefully you got something good out of that review and uh, I'll roll some footage of me fishing with it here, so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about with the slow action. Um, that coupled with light monofilament, and a lot of stretch, so you're not going to have really good hook setting power, but um, just to get the job done, it's a great rod. There's a bunch of trout over here surfacing. I don't know what they're feeding on exactly though. There's one. Oh, that's a nicer one. On this little red and white jig. This is actually a pretty nice fish. Come on in. Yeah, this is one of the best fish I've caught here. Healthy rainbow trout. Let's get him back. He's fine. I'm just fishing with this little, it's a white, soft plastic minnow bait with a red jig head and retrieving it very radically quickly that guy nailed it
Um, yeah, I've caught two so far. What are you using for bait? Um, I had a little minnow jig head on this rod and then some gulp bait on this rod. There's one. First ever fish on this gulp bait. Looks like it's working pretty decent. There he goes. There's one. On the middle bait again. Move spots to so this rocky area where the dam is and this area tends to be one of the best areas. You can see them down there, not a couple of them. There we go. It's not too big. We think this. There's one. Off he goes. Oh yes, that's a bigger one. Oh yes, it's a much bigger fish. I can tell right away that this is a nice one. This one is gonna be my dinner. Another one. Another decent one. That's a little bit better. Oh, it's another nice one. No, I want to eat that one.
everybody, thanks for watching uh, this episode of Float Outdoors. Hopefully you got something good out of this review, and thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe.